A fishing boat just got caught in a massive shark feeding frenzy off the coast of Louisiana. The fishermen were on the search for yellowfin tuna and wahoo when dozens of sharks all of a sudden came around their boat feeding on a bait ball. And it's just an unbelievable series of pictures. Watch this. Mark Hardesty is the captain of the boat, Money Shot. He's one of the people who was there that day. He joins us now. Mark, that's it. I, I don't know how long you've been on the water, but have you ever seen anything like that in your life? Well, not to this degree where they just came up under the boat like they did. Uh, we've seen it many times, though, uh, because the shark population in the no north central Gulf has exploded, kind of like a cockroach uh, infestation. And yep. it has just dramatically increased, and um, it has decimated uh, a lot of the food fish and uh, is working on the, the game fish that are, are so prevalent in Venice, Louisiana because the federal restrictions under the Magnus and Stevens Act have uh, really done a toll on the fishery, and um, it's certainly a over-regulation situation that's yeah. going on now. Washington is not good at managing the natural world, I've noticed. Um, so, I mean, I hope they're not going after redfish, and, and are they? And why do you think the shark population has exploded? Well, the shark population, we believe, has exploded because of the um, the restrictions on commercial fishing, quite frankly, uh, yeah. and fishing in federal waters. Shark fishing is still allowed in state waters, and that puts that puts really no dent in it uh, in comparison to what's going on offshore. And in the Gulf, it's nine miles an out or state or our federal waters, and yeah. then nine miles in or, or state waters. So when you see uh, a feeding frenzy over a bait ball like this and you're on a boat, it's a you know, decent-sized boat, four engines, but it's still an open boat. Do you, do you have fantasies about falling in? Well, certainly it crosses your mind, but uh, I'm in a pretty seaworthy boat. I was in a 37 Freeman, which is a, a very uh, seaworthy boat, and uh, so there wasn't that much concern about that aspect of things. But certainly they were so frothed up in this frenzy that, uh, you know, certainly there's something that crosses your mind that one launches himself into the boat. Um, uh, luckily that didn't occur, and uh, unfortunately this is just occurring more and more. Uh, I've noticed just an exponential uh, increase in shark activity in the Gulf over the last five or six years. And what that's shown is, is that the Magnus and Stevens Act has essentially, the harm that it has caused is simply been in place long enough to really start dramatically increasing the population of these sharks. Yeah, I think people who understand nature should have a voice in the management of of our natural world, but of course you don't, unfortunately. Mark Artisty, thank you so much for joining us tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you.